always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Good morning, West Michigan. We're starting off on a much drier note, especially compared to where we were yesterday afternoon and evening. Here's a look at Storm Track Live. Really the only rain of note now headed out of our vicinity, raining in Jackson, Ann Arbor, Detroit eventually here. We are left behind, though, with a decent amount of cloud cover, and that will be the case for much of your Memorial Day. We do have this warm front that very slowly will continue lifting across the region, kicking up that cloud cover and also bringing relatively breezy conditions, especially for our lakeshore communities. We do have a beach hazard statement that stays in effect through at least 8 o'clock tonight. Decent amount of rain this weekend as expected. Most of us coming in between about a quarter and three quarters of an inch. Battle Creek though almost an inch of rain there from Saturday and Sunday and of course that won't include what we saw early on this morning and what we'll see as we see those scattered showers develop today. About three quarters of an inch in Grand Rapids, Holland and Muskegon towards that quarter of an inch of rain. Temperatures this morning not too bad, fairly mild, but the big contrast you'll see later on today are those temperatures towards the lakeshore versus inland. Little bit of a discrepancy this morning, but nothing too significant. 64 in Battle Creek and 58 in South Haven. Again, cooler at the lake because of those winds coming off from the west. Scattered showers will remain possible today, but there will be a lot of dry hours in the mix there as well. So if you're trying to be outside for a brief period of time, you should have an opportunity to do just that. It will be one of the coolest days that we have going forward this week with highs topping off in those mid 60s. So here's your future cast. Again, really a couple spotty showers here and there. Think of a drizzle or a mist, maybe a little bit dreary to spend ample time time outside, but certainly not a washout like we saw yesterday. Into the overnight hours, that's when we may see a little bit more rain develop, especially for areas near north of about I-96. The showers will pass through, and then Tuesday, again, spotty showers here and there. Those winds will turn to the northwest, working to dry us out. Middle of the week, though, pretty quiet once we get to Tuesday afternoon. Cool, we'll see highs both Tuesday and Wednesday in those upper 60s, but a lot more sunshine. We'll be making a return to that forecast, and very calm winds coming from the north through at least about Friday there. You'll notice temperatures cooler for the middle of the week, but I think we'll have a quick turnaround here. Most of the country expected to have a good probability of above average temperatures as we head into about that second week of June. And next weekend is when we'll start feeling the effects of that. 76 will be your high on Friday. I think one of the best days that we'll actually have this week. A couple chances for some scattered showers develop as we move into the weekend, but also notice those temperatures hold fairly steady in those mid to upper 70s and even those low temperatures, staying on the mild side of things, only dipping down to those mid-50s.